How often does this bulletin come out? Weekly during the session. Weekly during the session? Yep. Anyone? Is it uh, is it sent to the local libraries? Mm. Or does it is it sent to so hard so copy to email so to you. No, no. <laughs> John, <laughs> we people we, like to read hard copy. I'm asking if this goes to local libraries for somebody to walk into the library and go back through the past uh, bulletins. I don't think that it is. Right, it's so on our website. Oh, I yeah. know people like to read hard, but the, everything is on our website, and all the past years are. So this comes out weekly. During the legislative session, when the yeah. legislature oh, is the session. all done hard. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. And Might be able to ask them to, yeah. to yeah. print one. Yeah, you can go to the library and print one up. Piggybacking on that, Rich, we can certainly have, um, Joan, if you wouldn't mind, send all our emails for everybody interested in being on your, your, your mailing list. And so could anybody get on the mailing list for this or on an email for this bulletin? Yes. So that's, what news, that's what the news link is for, right? Right. News link, new, news link is different that's um, because that email. goes every two weeks and that talks about other things. That goes every week. During and the, and yeah. what we send you is a, essentially a notice that it's there or you can just go to our website. But you can get, absolutely get on that distribution list. Just to you know, clarify in my own mind on the whole process here, you're, not, you're saying just that as I just bills come up or proposed, that whoever are advocates or opponents of that bill come to you as for your input and for your either recommendation to approve or oppose them? Well, as the bills... We have our set of policies, mm -hmm. and as the bills are introduced at the beginning of every session, right. we identify all the bills that are of municipal interest. Some don't have anything to do with any policy, and we well, don't. Well, that's the like casino gambling yep. as yep. such, um, right? So we would have had a policy ahead of time about casino gambling. Based so, on the input from the communities? From the communities. Yes. And we have no opinion on that so we do not testify well, so, say, so you don't way. advocate we or don't oppose, advocate, oppose or for, against or for no. favor of it but how do you determine at the bottom line whether or not you are uh, you know as you're going to lobby for that whether you're going to advocate advocate it or oppose it in the legislative bulletin i believe it's in here isn't it the policy statement their uh, overall policies mm, is that in the no that's in the we have a basically uh, what we call it's what we call our policy. It's our legislative policies. It's a broad spectrum of saying like we support no unfunded mandates to municipalities. Mm -hmm. So very broad. And what the staff does at the beginning of the legislative session goes through all the bills and figures out whether or not the bills fall under one of these po these positions. Mm -hmm. And if it's you know supports one of these positions, they'll go and advocate for it. If it doesn't then they all advocate against it, if it's against the position. If it's a question about it, and it's off during, not during the session, and they're like, you know, the staff is like, well, we're not too sure. We need to get more of opinion. They'll come back to the board and say, look, we believe it's against this, poli this part of our policy, or um, legislative policy positions. What's the board thing? And then they'll ask the board, which is a representative, again, of cross section of municipalities of 21 people because you can't pull everybody in every time there's a bill up so they rep they come up and say well we th we think it falls in or we don't we don't think we should put support it so that it comes up all the time usually at each of our meetings there will be some bill that we, they have to either oppose or support in the last the board so in effect the the municipalities themselves can lobby by having enough of them enough municipalities appear before you either as advocates or opponents yep right? yep Yes. How do you determine which way to go with something like it's that? A, it's a vote. It's a democracy. Twenty-one members. Majority says we. Twenty-one members of your board of directors. Of the board of directors. Yep. In that situation where the where it's a specific bill and the staff needs guidance, they'll say we'll bring it up and they'll say you know what we'll support it or not support it this time, and then we'll clarify it later by changing the policy or amending it the, at the next. So if representatives of the of fifty municipalities show up at your board advocating casino gambling I think I that one I don't think would honestly I don't think it would pass our board even if it came out because it's a representative against again the board of directors itself is a representation across the state 
right. so it's not yeah I, I in my years as chair and as being on the board I've never seen the groups lobby the board to support and not that's, support that's something that's the board yeah, point no, I'm driving at no mm-hmm. if a group shows up to, uh, to no. lobby you as lobbyists no <laughs> nope I've never seen that happen so, I, mean, you know, no, they are, I think the board is very circumspect about where they're going to adopt a policy where there hasn't already been some position I taken. See. I think usually they are looking at some more fine-tuning of, of issues um, rather than a wholesale policy adoption where we don't already have one. So a couple... So the next step is if the, uh, the the majority of the board are in favor of a particular bill, what is the next step for you as a board to present your approval or opposition to the legislature? Let me just back up a little yeah. bit because we have the set of policies, which I did not put in your packet because we're about to embark on adopting new policies but we have this set of policies so this will guide us in the first instance so for example um, we had a policy to support allowing the legislative body of a municipality to authorize the governing body to set its own tax rate rather than having to go through the Department of Revenue Administration so that's a policy that we have we I believe on this one we worked to get somebody to a legislator to file that policy we drafted the language of of the bill we work with the legislator to get it filed and then as it works its way through the system we support that bill and we go in and we talk with DRA and they say oh we don't like this part of it so we change some language and they say okay that's better but what about this and so we make further changes to because when you have everybody sitting together and talking about it you can go through all of the kinks that may be there and work them all out so in the end you get a piece of legislation that is supposed to work so i think i get the process so that's that's how it would happen in the normal course of events there was a bill that came in this year um, and it's in one uh, it's in one of these um, bulletins bulletin number nine talks about a zoning notice bill that would impose excessive costs we didn't have any policy about that other than we will always oppose unfunded mandates because that's a violation of the um, strong protection we have in the state under the Constitution that there can be no passing on of unfunded mandates to municipalities. So we oppose that bill without a specific policy, but because we have a principle that says we will always oppose unfunded mandates. And we came to the board with that because there were um, different proposals and variations that the sponsor suggested and we came to the board to say do you think this is okay can can we agree with this you know now it's not noticing the whole zoning district it's only noticing if there's a hundred properties affected do you think that's okay for us to agree with or should we stay the, stay the course and simply oppose it um, so that's the kind of interaction we have with the board um, and I think the other thing too is that it's not just staff people that go up and lobby. They want to. He- the, if I don't know how many people here are members of the house or not, they don't want to hear from the professional lobbyists all day. They want to hear from the people who are actually in the trenches. So we try to get the elected officials and appointed officials who are actually going to deal with the bills later to go and to, uh, testify at the hearings. So that's that's another thing that we make sure we try to do as well. So it's not just the the hired people that go and speak. Thank you. No problem.